Right, I want to take a look at some of the stuff that you can do with the new curves modules. Now, finally, you've got a really easy and effective way to map out macro controls and how they affect uh, certain controls over time. Now, there are ways that you could have done this in the past. I have done a video before on using the polynom modulator to essentially wave shape uh, curves of a macro. Uh, it's a little bit complicated though to do, and it's never, uh, it's never exactly the way that you want it. Another way that I've done this in the past is to use the steps modulator. So we'll just bring up one of those um, and then draw in a curve with a really high setting of steps like this and then be able to use the uh, phase control to step through that and have that modulate something else. But using the new curves modules, it's a lot easier to do and a lot more efficient. Uh, so let's um, let's set up something here. We're going to bring in a filter and let's bring in a second filter and let's bring in a reverb. So what I want to do is I want to create effect for sort of building drops and build ups and things. Uh, this one is going to be a low pass filter. This one's going to be a high pass filter with not too much resonance on it. And our reverb, uh, we're just going to automate the mix here. So what we want to do is we want to high pass this with a macro and then the last little bit I'm going to bring down the uh, low pass filter and the reverb is going to kind of build in the middle and then right at the end just pull that out so you don't have too much of a tail uh, when it hits its, hits its peak. Uh, so what we can do is, uh, there's two ways you can do this now, you could group these as before uh, into an FX layer and then add the modulation. Yeah, that might be a good idea to do so you can save this out for other projects later. You could also do it yeah, on the group channel now as well, uh, this global channel modulation, because it will actually affect everything in the channel now. You don't have to group um, all your items together into an effects layer. But let's do it like this for the sake of this video. Uh, we're going to open up our modulators page and let's bring in the curves module, which is essentially an LFO, uh, but you can now design custom curves for this LFO. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have uh, a curve for each of these parameters. And we may not need one for the high pass. But let's, uh, let's duplicate these. Uh, well, we'll duplicate them once we've set them up. So the first things first, we're going to set up one for the reverb. And I want the reverb to build and kind of reach its peak around here in the macro and then drop off right at the end. Let's also just bring our macro in. And just move this one over here. So this is going to be our control for the effect. Open up our curves here. Let's, uh, I'm just going to reset this curve. We're going to just make sure that this is uh, unipolar, so positive values only. Uh, the reverb is going to kind of come up to its max around here. And we can also draw in curves with this. Maybe do something like that and we'll see how this goes. Now this curve is going to be assigned to the reverb mix. And we don't want this to play as an LFO, so we want to set this to a hold a rate of zero. And then we can use the phase again to kind of sweep through this. So our macro is essentially going to adjust the phase of this uh, LFO shape that we have here. So we can assign the macro to the degrees, and we're going to take this right up to about no more than 360, because then it's going to reset to 39.4, that's fine. Um, now we can duplicate this. So we have another control for our filter. And let's say this one, we're gonna control the low pass. But we only want that low pass to kind of kick in right at the end. And I'm moving that one down. So our filter shape for the low pass is gonna look something like this. And maybe even Let's get that last little bit there. And let's just do one more for the high pass as well. Well, we could just assign that directly to the high pass, but I might want to just get the high pass with a little bit of a curve as well. So let's use the high pass all the way up there. And we'll adjust the curve for this one. And this will be our high pass filter.
Here we go. Let's try this out and we'll play this back and take a listen to what we've got. So you may want to actually change the reverb a little bit here so the reverb only comes as in around that end part and maybe just the high pass that that adjusts quicker and let's take a listen and let's also just program this in uh, in time with the rest um, so you can just do this all with one control now drop that down we've got this phase we could rename this as fx and all you need to do is automate the macro itself And we'll do this and take a look at what happens now as the macro gets automated. So all of these different parameters now have different values and automation curves being applied to them whilst using just the single macro to do everything. Uh, there's a lot of control here as well with these snapping options. So you can get quite detailed uh, results uh, if you wanted to go and do sort of slightly more sort of step things here. You could do some pretty uh, weird detailed automation parameters here. And let's take a listen to what happens now if we just automate this so you can do some pretty interesting stuff with that assigning a whole bunch of parameters to a single macro like that and using that to do a whole bunch of stuff with minimal amounts of automation cool so let's move into the next video i'll see you then cheers Thank you.